Hey folks, it's Borders Dude here. This video is a little bit different. These figures you see here all have a special place in my heart. This is for various reasons. Some of these guys may not even be on display in my collection, but they get kept because they have that place in my heart. So I thought what I would do today is take an individual look at each of these figures and explain why they do indeed hold that place. Okay guys, I'm going to take a look at Prime Bumblebee and Age of Extinction Drift. The reason I put these two together is because both of these were gifted from work, but two different workplaces. Bumblebee came from my time at Asda. One of the managers had recently discovered uh, my Transformers focused YouTube channel and um, I don't know whether he found it fascinating or just that he liked to take the mick a little bit. Um, I'm not really sure. Um, either or, they did like a sort of choose a Santa gift uh, thing uh, around about Christmas time at Asda back in the day and I ended up getting uh, the Prime Bumblebee there. Now last year, even with all the chaos at work, we still had a secret Santa on the go and it was actually my team lead support manager who ended up getting me after various reshuffles through that Elfster app because people had to drop out and <laughs> for whatever reason. And uh, he said to me that he was seemingly panicking and um, that I might already have this figure because the guys know at work that I collect Transformers but obviously they don't know what I've got. Um, but don't really get the movie pots myself so I was quite dead chuffed uh, to get Age of Extinction Drift. I keep what I call a Mirage. Next up is the original Beast Wars Rhinox. I bought this from just chatting to people on Twitter. Really this was the start of my sort of Beast Wars peak when I was trying to get all the Beast Wars movie cast and a chap who now goes by the Cardcore Gamer that's Card Core Gamer. He was called Mata Smasher back in the day. I'm sure some of you remember him if you've been watching the YouTubes for long enough. He was selling some of his Beast Wars stuff and I bought Rhinox of him at a very decent price. And that was the first time I'd interacted with any community member in terms of, you know, exchanging money and not really having, you know, any sort of real <laughs> confirmation or trust uh, that they, you know, they would send me the figure. I should never have doubted uh, Matt Smasher or Cardcore Gamer. And of course, it arrived. And he, because that was my first ever sort of community led purchase, he stays in my collection for that reason. Continuing on the Beast Wars theme, this says Beast Wars Inferno. This was actually gifted to me uh, by my brother in law. Um, he was just looking through some of his Transformers and again this was at the same time I was on that Beast Wars kick and he just decided to give it to me free charge and it's pretty much complete with all the, the leg missiles there that you can see and that was a really nice gesture of him. Here we have Kabai Kit Ultra Magnus and Generations Scoop missing one wheel thanks to my son. These were given to me by Junkie Dave. Now I'll start with Scoop first of all. A few years ago the uh, Transformers YouTube community did a Secret Santa and um, Dave got me as his Secret Santa and I sort of spoke to Dave you know a couple of times just like probably Facebook comments replying and stuff like that but he just messaged me out the blue on Facebook and you know said hey look this is coming etc etc and from there and we just sort of kept chatting turned out we both like wrestling started chatting about that chatting about wrestling books and so forth and it's a friendship that's had its ups and downs not gonna lie but we're still friends to this day and really it, only, it really starts because of this plastic figure here, which is why he stays in my collection. Ultra Magnus was given to me 
by Dave because he knows I'm a big Ultra Magnus mark and I want to try and get as many Ultra Magnus figures as I see fit and that's Ultra Magnus as in he looks like that, not a white prime. And uh, Dave had it, he'd found it and he'd brought it to the first TF Nation and gave it to me as a gift which was very touching. This Cosmos was given to me by Retro Prime. Retro Prime has given me other figures throughout the years when it comes to Christmas gifts, always little legends, which I really appreciate. Uh, he recently gave me the movie uh, Bumblebee, which is currently at my, my work as my desk bot, my permanent desk bot, along with a Rock Lord and something else. Um, it's really my fault that Retro Prime started collecting uh, Transformers, because when he worked at Asda with me, I just kept you know, going on at him and going on at him. He'd collected a few things here and there in the past, but it was me that kind of pushed him into the collecting direction that he's now in. And I think it's that in retro gaming that really keeps our friendship going after he left Asda. And I'm so grateful to know the guy and another guy, Fregala, who collects Transformers. Barely making it into shot is MP Ultra Magnus. Now this figure is the favourite in my collection. If for whatever reason the day came that I had to get rid of everything apart from one figure, it would be this guy. Now, the reason for that, and it was previously touched on there with the Junk Heap Dave mention was just Ultra Magnus is my favourite Transformers character, always has been, particularly this representation of him. Always joke about the White Primes and the Minimus Ambus, but for me the Generation 1 cartoon incarnation of Ultra Magnus will always be the one I see as the definitive. The reason this figure is so special to me is this was the very first figure that I purchased at my very first Transformers convention, which happened to be the last auto assembly. Uh, and I was very lucky to get him. I may have even, I did in fact pay over the odds for him, and he was the last one there and his box was a bit bashed. But the fact he was what I set out to get at my first ever convention and managed to get it, just gives me that memory of that, that rushed panic the first time I ever went into a dealer room, and the madness and trying to just get what I was looking for and I got it and that for some reason all that panic and worry just makes it that much more special. Generation Sandstorm, now why is he um, in my collection and holds that special place more importantly in my collection? Well the year I got him was the year I got married and myself and my wife were literally saving up every penny we could just to make sure that everything was purchased for the wedding and I somehow had some spare cash left over one month and I put down a pre-order for this guy on Kapow and it was such a brilliant reminder of what was going on that year that I had to keep him in my collection. He is indeed one of my favourite bots as well in my collection, I like his robot mode and his two alt modes are very unique. And lastly we have Fall of Cybertron, Grimlock and the thrilling 30th. Springer. The reason these two guys are special placeholders in my heart is because they were both purchased by my wife. Now my wife has since bought me other figures but these two hold particularly good memories in that Springer was bought with the other two figures for my 30th birthday and this was also the same year we got married and um, so it was nice to not only be married, but also have my 30th the same year. Um, and to top it off, I got a couple of Transformers as well. And the other two is another Ultra Magnus figure. It's the Beast Hunters, I think they are, and um, the Fall of Cybertron uh, Blaster figure. But the Springer, out, believe it or not, the Springer out of the three of them is my favourite. And he always reminds me more so. Um, of it being a 30th gift. Grimlock was a Christmas gift from my wife and it wasn't actually a figure that I was thinking about getting because my wife was adamant that year she was going to get me the Titans class Metroplex that just came out 
there but you know as things happen um, money got a bit tighter and she couldn't do that so I ended up getting not only Grimlock but a couple other figures as well and I was more than happy to get those figures and that's the reason why those two do have that special place in my heart because I have those strong memories of them. Well folks that's my video just showing off some of the figures that hold a special place in my heart and will never leave my collection. Thanks very much for watching and as always guys please be excellent to each other.